Now, this is something, um, you know, these electron, how the electrons are distributed outside the nucleus or, you know, this uh, probability of finding electron as you would, you know, like to call them can be, you know, more clearly be taught in physical chemistry course. Here, I will give you just a brief idea, may not be exactly, exactly clear idea, but, you know, it, it, it is something which will, which will give you an idea to go forward. So, how are the orbital sets? Of course, we have learned that sets are different, but then if you want to see the electron distribution, of course, my physical chemistry colleague will, will perhaps kill me if I try to define like that, but let me do it anyway. You are going to learn uh, better in physical chemistry course. So, if this is the 1 s electron we are talking about, then 1 s electron is distributed with respect to the nucleus. If the nucleus is at the center, we would like to think like that. The probability of finding the 1 s electron is going to be like this. So, the, so the probability of finding 1 s electron towards nucleus is quite high. If you look at 2s electron, probability at finding 2s electron at the nucleus is not that much. Of course, there, there is a node at, at, at this distance. After that, there is a probability of finding this 2s electron is quite high. If you look at 3s electron, it is, you know, one more node added and you can see this. If you compare 2s versus 2p, you can further see of course, 2s has some component very close to the nucleus over here, 2p does not have really that much component very close to the nucleus. Okay. So, the penetration is actually meaning that how much these orbitals are contributing towards or you know how much close they are towards the nucleus. So, as you can see, 1s is very close to the nucleus and thereby the penetration of 1s is going to be the maximum and it can neutralize the positive charge most efficiently, right. As you can see for the other, for example, 3d, 3d is distributed or the maximum probability of finding 3d electrons are really far from the nucleus. Therefore, the neutralization ability of 3D electrons are going to be kind of list out of all these orbitals shown in here. Now, if you compare directly 2S versus 2P, you over, you kind of, you know, uh, overlap these 2S and 2P electron and then this is what the distribution curve you see. As you can see, penetration of 2S electron is greater than 2P electron. Okay, because you have a very good component of 2s very close towards towards this uh, towards this nucleus so the penetration that means the you know the positive component is getting neutralized by these electrons at the orbitals the penetration of the 2s electron through the inner cell or inner core is greater than that of 2p electron because the latter vanishes at the nucleus. So, the 2p electron vanishes at the nucleus whereas, 2s electron are still there. Therefore, the 2s electrons are less shielded than 2p electron. Okay. 2s electrons are basically penetrating much more um, compared to 2p electron. Now, Another thing you really need to understand very simply is, you know, the d electrons repel each other much more compared to p or s electron. How is that? So, you know, it's it's like involvement, right? How much involved you are in a particular thing. Well. Um, let me take, give you an example uh, of your hostel rooms, right. 
in your hostel if you have let us say you know, 3 people in a room, it is possible or 2 people in a room or 3, 4 people, 4 people in a room. Okay. Now, if out of the 4 people, 1 or 2 of them are involved in something, it could be music, it could be studying, it could be sports, it could be anything outside you know outside the normal thing you would like to do. So, if they are too much involved, they it is less likely that they will have much more time to interact with the third or the fourth you know roommate right. So, the if the first and second person in, in your hostel room are involved in something deeply, they are less likely that they will disturb you right. But on the other hand, third student or third mate and the fourth one are not being involved in anything that way. So, it is more likely that these two guys third and fourth guys will be having you know more number of fights or more number of disagreement right. So, this is what we are trying to see in D electron. What is happening is D electrons are not really involved with the with the with the nucleus, the electrons are kind of not capable of neutralizing or engaging with the nucleus, and therefore the d electrons will will be repelling each other very strongly, or will have more conflict. On the other hand, if you look at comparatively, let's say s electrons, they are much more penetrating, they are much more involved with the nucleus, and therefore the s orbital having 2 electrons will repel less compared to d orbital having 2 electrons. So, what I am trying to say is 2 electrons if it is in d orbitals those 2 electrons will repel each other more strongly compared to 2 electrons in the s orbital because s orbital is more engaged with the more engaged with the with the nucleus right. So, 2 electrons present in the same d orbital repel each other more strongly than do 2 electrons in the same s orbital. So, that is what I am trying to say it is hostile roommate. The electrons present in f are obviously much less influenced by the nucleus as compared to d. So, electrons in the s orbital is much more involved with the nucleus in the p orbital it is little bit less involved with the nucleus d orbital electrons are less further less involved f electrons are even i kind of least involved with the nucleus and therefore the repulsion among the f electrons will be much more among each other will be much more compared to any two electrons in any other orbitals right so you, you when you are trying to calculate in a, or trying to understand any effect or any uh, any effect by these different electrons you have to you have to essentially think of a bigger picture you have to you have to think how much penetrating they are you have to think how how much repulsion they will be having with each other and so on we'll come to that so now i'll discuss order of filling of orbitals. You have studied quite long back I guess that order of filling should be 1 s should be fill out first and then 2 s then 2 p 3 s 3 p not 3 d then then after 3 p should be 4 s then 3 d and this is where I think we need to understand a little bit better why after 3 s 3 p gets filled, but after 3 p not really 3D is getting filled, but 4S is getting filled. Technically speaking, 4S is having more energy compared to 3D because the principal cell is of a uh, higher number, right? 3S, since it is the electron in 3S should be more or more stabilized, means less uh, energy compared to 3P. So, 3S should be filled out first, then 3P after 3 p then it should be 3 d then 4 s, but in reality what we see that 
4S is filled out before 3D. Of course, first thing we need to understand that 4S and 3D are having very similar energy. If anything, we would like to think that 3D is having lower energy compared to 4S. But for that, we, we, must, we must think of, of uh, something which is um, which we, we try to discuss just briefly uh, like five minutes back we were discussing. So, the D electrons are less penetrated, right? D compared to let us say S electrons. So, compared to 3D electron, 4S electron is going to be more penetrating, right? And therefore, repulsion of electrons in 4s orbital will be less okay, compared to repulsion in the 3d electron right so 4s and 3d first of all they are having very little difference in energy since the repulsion in 4s is going to be much less compared to 3d what will happen that 4S is going to get preferably filled out compared to 3D. So, this is an exception and this is how it can be perhaps explained. Therefore, occupation of orbitals of higher energy can result in a reduction in the repulsion. So, in this case, if you occupy the electrons in the 4s orbital, it is going to ripple less. Consequently, what we see is 4s electron is getting, 4s orbital is getting filled out preferentially over the 3d. Okay. Once again, I think uh, I, uh, this is kind of becoming a disclaimer. Uh, you have to really consider all other contribution, okay? not only you know, numerically we, we should not be seeing that 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 3d. Instead, we, we should be looking at their relative energy and the consequences that that is going to, going to have if you fill out these orbitals, let us say 4s versus 3d. In this case, once again, the repulsion among the electrons determines which one is going to be preferentially filled out. Okay. Now, uh, let me show you some other uh, data which I think I like it very much, where it is clearly showing how kind of electrons are getting filled out. One is you have one electron filled out for hydrogen, let us say 1 is 1, 1 is 2, 2 electrons filled out compared to this one, you are seeing the dark car ball of the same size, 1 is electron getting filled out. Now, over here for the lithium, you have 1 is 2 and 2 is 1. So, the 1 is orbital is this one, 2 is orbital is this one. So, it is you know overall you, you see the distribution of electrons kind of you know. Uh, not so accurate picture once again, but this is something you can visualize to basically understand. For 1s2, 2s2, you will see that 1s of course is very dark, 2s orbital also becoming very dark. If you see the boron that is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p1, now one of the p orbital is getting occupied by electrons, uh, uh, electron and then from 2p1, if you see 2p2, 2p electrons are getting occupied, then 2p3, 2p4, you are seeing the p electron clouds are getting more and more deeper. And therefore, the overall, if you see neon, that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, this should be something like this. This is again, this is an approximate picture. This is just to give you a feeling how perhaps the electrons are distributed with respect to the nucleus. Okay. In reality, this picture perhaps, you know, in reality this does not exist. Okay. <coughs> so, I think I have discussed this. Now, of course, what we find that experimental data show that D block elements are of the form 3 D n 4 S 2. That means, 4 S electrons are getting filled out 
preferentially compared to 3D electrons with 4s orbital fully occupied. For example, scandium atomic number which is 21, the electronic configuration for scandium would be this is the argon configuration and then 3D1, 4S2. So, it should be 4S filled out first, two of them and then 3D1. If atomic number scandium titanium, let us say, if you have uh, then it would be 3D2 and 4S2 and so on. This order is followed in almost all cases. Okay, that means, 4S2 electrons will be distributed first or given first and then the remaining electron if any should be going to your 3D electrons. Two atomic configuration actually kind of violates this general principle. What are those cases? You might will know that is chromium and copper. What is happening in these cases? In these cases, it should be you know according to what we were discussing, it should be 3D4 for S2 electronic configuration. Of course, now this is going to be a half field full field configuration or the zone where you can have 3D5 electronic configuration to gain the further stability. If the electronic configuration will become now 3D5 4S1, not 3D4 4S2. In case of copper, it is a similar situation where according to what we were discussing earlier, the you know electron repulsion in the d orbital, it should be 3D9 and 4S2, but it is not, it should it is 3D10 and 4S1, because the d orbital if gets one more electron, it becomes 3D10, which is a fulfill electron configuration. Okay. So, the cases where you have half fill or fulfill electronic configuration attainment, then you are going to see the deviation from the standard 4S filling first and then 3D electron. Okay. As atomic number increases, energy of 3D orbitals decreases related, relative to both your 4S and 4P. So, we are trying to say that 3D should be having comparable energy with 4S. 4S should be having lower energy compared to 4P, that is fine. Since the d electron electrons can repel each other strongly compared to 4S electron, this repulsion energy or the destabilization energy preferentially allows 4S electron to be filled out first, but once d electrons getting filled out more and more, what happens is d orbitals is, is no longer having higher energy compared to 4S, the energy of d orbital, 3D orbital decreases compared to 4S. Okay. So, in that case, the filling order should be as expected or normal, 3D should be filled out first and then 4S and then 4P. Okay. Now, another thing to understand, see overall what we try to say is 4S should be filling out first, then 3D, but removal, what will be the removal order? So, this is what we now need to understand. For transition metal series, your filling order should be 4S and 3D, removal order should be again 4S and 3D. Okay. This is what I think is little bit contradictory. I think you would expect since 3D is filling out later on, okay, so the removal time 3D electron should go first, right? but that is not the case. 4S fills out first, 4S gives out first. Okay. How is that possible or what is the explanation? Let us say take the examples of titanium. Okay. So, it is 3D2, 4S2, fine, 4S filled out first and then 3D filled out. When titanium 2 plus we are thinking, then it should be according to the filling order, 3D orbital electron should go out. right? That is not happening. What we are seeing is in reality 4S electron is going out, not the 3D electron. How can you explain this? This is, this is one of the small topic we need to discuss. 
So now, uh, once again, I think you have to see the clear picture before and after electronic electron removal. During filling out, what is the consequences we have understood? The d electron repel each other strongly, therefore d electron should not be filled out first. That is the filling time. So, the 4s electron fills out first. Okay. For says 4s electron fills out first because 4s electron is kind of more stabilized compared to the 3d electron, right. Now, once you are trying to remove, let us say you have removed 2 electron, titanium 2 plus, right. Now, you have to see the overall stability. 4s electron is having lower energy or s electron in general is having lower energy mainly due to the fact that it is more penetrating. Okay. It is more penetrating therefore, it is getting more stabilized. Now, when you remove 2 electron either from 4s irrespective of 4s or 3d overall what is happening is your attraction of the nucleus towards the electron is going to be much more, right. Electrons are less, right. So, the atomic number remains same. The attraction of nucleus towards the outer sphere electron or towards all the electrons is going to be much more compared to the normal or neutral situation. Since the Z star that means, effective nuclear charge is going to increase dramatically. This will give, you know, uh, give the stability, okay. This will reduce the shielding of the electron. So, there will be some sort of contraction, right. Contraction has a small effect in 4S because forest is already very close to the nucleus. Comparatively, the stabilization or this co the contraction will cause the stabilization to 3D are much more compared to your forest. So, what is happening here is after removing 2 electron, the effect of contraction is going to be much more felt at 3D compared to your 4s because 4 is 4 is is already lower in energy and the lower energy is the reason why they are going to be they were filling out first now during removal since 4s is already kind of neutralized or 4s is already having lower energy the removal effect is going to be felt much more at that d orbital. So, d orbital energy will be much more stabilized and removal of the electrons will be much more easier from the 4 s compared to your 3 d. 3 d energy is going to be stabilized, 3 d electrons are going to be stabilized compared much more compared to 4 s. So, the stabilization will lead to the removal of electrons from the 4 s not from 3 d. Okay. So, that is what we try to uh, summarize in here. Contraction in d orbital causes a considerable decrease in energy. This decrease is evidently enough to lower the energy of 3 d well below 4 s in the ion that results from this. So, the removal of electron from 4s will be easier compared to 3d electron.